I can't make it out. Everything looks like it's just a dead chihuahua to me. <laughs> Where do I get some light? You won't need a light. Sure, the sun shines out of my arse. <laughs> Don't believe your mother. Oh, hello. And season's greetings. I'll be with you in a second. I'm just going deep into the forest to check something. <laughs> Mummy, what the hell are you doing? Oh, Catchy, good girl. Dr. Flynn is on the phone. Tell him I'll be with him in a minute. I'm just checking something for him. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Flynn. Yes, uh, she said she's just checking something. No, I can't make anything out. Oh, hot, hot. Oh, <laughs> shut up, you big sissy. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Grandad, you blew out the fucking candle. Sorry. Flynn wants to know, what are you checking? Dr. Flynn asked me to check if Grandad's testicles had gone black yet. No, Mammy. He asked you to check if Grandad's test results had come back yet. <laughs> Tell him the postman hasn't come yet. I'll get her to call you later, Dr. Flynn. Catty, take him into his bedroom. Come on. And you might think about shaving. Catty. <laughs> Well, I could have done without that. In fact, I could have done without this whole year. Everybody in February was raving about COVID-19. Nobody talked about the 18 COVIDs before that. <laughs> and then people started panicking. Before you knew it, the shelves in the shops were empty. <laughs> What were people thinking? The man on the television said, we're going to have a pandemic. The next thing people are going, pandemic? Oh my God, how will I wipe my arse? <laughs> <laughs> Madness. Rory and Dino decided that they wanted to get their own brand of hair dryer in the market. The wash and blow dryer. Where did they go to get it made? Wuhan in China. <laughs> yep, they're still there, they can't get back. Poor Grandad had to isolate himself in his bedroom for two weeks. He lost seven pounds. <laughs> All I fed him during the two weeks was cream crackers and cheese. <laughs> it's the only thing that would fit under the door. <laughs> What's funny? Nothing, Catty. Sit down. Do you want a cup of tea? Yes, please. <laughs> Hello, Winnie. Hi, oh, yeah, Agnes. Is the weather bad out there? It was very cold that night. <laughs> yeah, no, Winnie, in the script it says mumble, not fucking mime. <laughs> Here, take that off you. Go on, take it off you and sit down. <sighs> Mammy, why is Winnie wearing that? You don't have to cover up now for your next door neighbour. Don't tell her. I get great fun walking around the supermarket with Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sit down, will you? Thanks, love. You hardly want tea. Oh, yes, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you look tired, pet. Well, why wouldn't I be? I had Jim this morning. Oh. And how is Jim? Oh, happiest milkman of fingers. <laughs> oh, lovely. Here, any news from Rory and Dino? Oh, just the usual weekly fact face. <laughs> face time? Whatever. <laughs> Well, I hope they don't get the virus. Get it, Winnie? They probably fucking started it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think so? No! Any news you're in? Oh, yeah. Sheridan went to see a dietitian. Oh, good for her. So, what did the dietitian say? Well, she said he said she could eat anything, anything other than tomatoes. Well, try that again. <laughs> she said, he said... No, wait. No. She said, he said she could eat anything except tomatoes. You're, doing, you're, getting, you're getting so fucking close. <laughs> <laughs> she said... Yes? He said she could eat anything... Yes? ..except tomatoes. <laughs> But Sharon doesn't like tomatoes. I know, wasn't that lucky? <laughs> I've gone over to see her. See you later. Yes, pet. See you, chicken. 
You know, I really missed you during the lockdown, Winnie. I missed you too, Agnes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could I borrow a couple of toilet rolls off you, love? Winnie, I swear to God, if I had some, I'd give them to you. <laughs> what did you do to amuse yourself during the lockdown? Well, I did a jigsaw. Yeah. I did some knitting. Uh -huh. And I ran out of stuff to watch on the telly. I know, I know. So many vacant repeats. <laughs> Stuff the turkey's ash with holly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> God bless you. That wasn't me, Winnie. Ah, oh, hello, boys. Just us, ma. And me, Buster, Mrs. Brill. Buster, I already said us. Who did you think I was talking about? I thought you were talking about you, Demo. If it was just me, why would I say us? Well, you have put on a bit of weight, Demo. What? Just kidding. Hello, son. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Busy day? Busy enough, just making people aware, you know? Yeah, he's a syringe, I'm the vaccine. No, son, he's a syringe and you're the booking disease. <laughs> <laughs> Buster, Buster, I'm only joking. Now get that sad face off you or Santa Claus won't come. What are you hoping to get this Christmas, Buster? An STD. <laughs> A HD TV buster. Oh, thank God. That's why the Santa in the shopping center barred me. <laughs> no way! So, Buster, what did you do to amuse yourself during the lockdown? I read a book by Shakespeare. Oh, which one? Uh, William, I think. <laughs> right, we better head back. Oh, Mrs. Brown, watch out for Nicky Nacky Dicky. Oh, I heard about this. What's Nicky Nacky Dicky? Not what? Who? Yeah, there's a fella going around the estate knocking on women's doors, but before they open the door, he's sticking his willy through the letterbox. <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh my god! Did they get a description? Eh. Uh... <laughs> of the man? Nope. Nobody's seen him. Not his face, anyway. <laughs> See us. Sharpen thinks she recognised him. She saw his face? No. <laughs> anyway, I better go have a shower. Right. Agnes. What, Winnie? Could I scrounge some biscuits off? Don't go near the cupboard, Winnie! <laughs> Winnie, that's all the biscuits I have to do me now. I don't have any spare. OK. <laughs> oh. Buster's serious about that Nicky Nacky Dicky. You watch out for him, Magnus. I will. <sighs> oh, I will. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Go on, put your wheel in the letterbox, I dare you. I'd bite it off. <laughs> Hello, Father. Are you okay, Mrs. Brown? Yes, no, I thought you were you, that you they stick the in the you know the, the... Come in, Father, come in. A mask. Very good. Very inventive. Well, I bet these light up or something, do they? No, Father, no. Christmas trees are like priests. You know, the balls are just for decoration. <laughs> Tea, Father? I will, please. <coughs> God bless. Well, Father, if you're looking for Trevor, you're out of luck. He's not in this episode. No? I just popped in to see how you and Grandad are. Oh, 
We're getting by. How did you manage during the lockdown? Grand. We got through it. Mrs. Brown, could you help me out? Certainly, Father. Just go through that door, through the garden gate, <laughs> and then straight out to the main road. <laughs> What's that, really? Oh, it's the post. I met the postman outside and I offered to bring them in. Oh, thank you very much. So you said you want me to help you with something? Just advice. Well, if I can. You have a way of commanding attention, Mrs. Brown. Oh, Father, now stop. Where you going? I'm having trouble communicating with the parishioners. Oh, parishioners, yeah, yeah. When I'm trying to deliver the word of the Lord. Yeah. I don't feel I'm getting the message across, and they don't listen to me. Look at that, Father. Left the price on the back of the card. How thoughtless is that? I'm sorry, what were you mumbling? But I cannot really get across the word. Crosswords? I love crosswords. I'm very good at them, too. Hiya, Mammy. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Father. Hiya. Oh, Father Damien's having trouble with his crossword. Really? What's the clue? No, no, no. I'm having trouble delivering the word of the Lord. How many letters? About 12. <laughs> Delivering the word, 12 letters. No, no, communication. No, too many letters. Well, most of them are for me, so you needn't worry. <laughs> the clue. Let me think, Father. Hello, Mrs. Brill. Hello, Buster. Hiya. Hello, Caddy. <laughs> Hello, Buster. All right, Father. <laughs> there you go, Mrs. Brill. Thank you, son. Buster. Here's a crossword clue for you. Ah, oh, Mammy, don't embarrass them. Don't be so fucking condescending, Catty. <laughs> Buster, um, delivering the word of the Lord, 12 letters. <laughs> oh, it's easy. G A L L A B O U T E V E. Galabout Eve. It means biblical epic. <laughs> See you later. Uh, one for me. One for me, one for you, one for me, one for me, another one for you, one for me. Uh, hold on, go back. That's not for you, that one's for me. I beg your pardon, Cathy. I think you'll find if it says Mrs. Brown, that's for me. I am Mrs. Brown. Oh, you are Mrs. Brown. Yes. But that says M.S. Ms. Brown. I am Ms. Brown. I think you'll find <laughs> that unless it says M.S. Catty Brown, specifically, because <laughs> you're a spinster, <sighs> that is for me. I think Cathy might be right. Oh, <laughs> I think you're in company here, Father, not conversation. Oh, right. Well, I think you'll find it's in my possession now, and that's that. I get us no respect. Can I get back to what I was saying about trying to really get my message across this Christmas? <sighs> yes, Father. Look, what you need to do... Mm -hmm. you... Hello, girls. Hello, Marie. Hello, Barbara. Oh, wait a minute. Back, back, get back, back off. <laughs> Father, you have to go. Go? But why? New production rules. Only four in a scene. <laughs> out. Cathy, show them out. See you, Father Damien. Thanks for dropping in. Enjoy the chat. Nice man. Mrs. Brown, it's Christmas. That rule doesn't apply anymore. I know, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> Mrs. Brown? Yes? I know you booked an appointment for me to style your hair for Christmas. Yes, Friday, 2 o'clock. Well, Barbara's worried. And to be honest, well, she's right to... What are you saying? I'm going to do your hair here in the house. The salon is packed and we don't want to be taking any chances. Chances? You know, with you in the high-risk category. <laughs> me? High-risk? Premio Risco? Or as they say in Russia, Har <laughs> <laughs> You know, people with pre-existing conditions and... The elderly. I see, Barbara. What exactly would my pre existing condition be? <laughs> medications. You're on a lot of medications. And they say if you're on them that you should take extra care. Exactly. Medications. <laughs> I suppose. Right, Barbara, let's go. See you. Cheers. See you Friday. <sighs> Mommy, sit down. What's up? What 
do you know about a competition in the Radio Times? I don't know anybody. Any oh, wait a minute. There was a competition that Willie had in the magazine that she said the two of us should enter for the crack. And what was it for? The BBC decided that after the Queen's Christmas message that a member of the public should deliver a Christmas message. And whoever wins the competition gets to do it. What do you want to know? You've only won it. Fuck off! <laughs> you are kidding me! Oh, Cathy, we only entered for fun! <laughs> <laughs> Willie! Hey, you can't see love. Hiya, Mrs. McGugan. Hi, what's up? Willie, do you remember that competition you got us to enter? Oh. Oh, the one about the Queen's yes, message? Yes, yes, Oh, I do. Yes. To be honest, Agnes, I bought 50 of them magazines. <laughs> and I entered it 50 times. Yeah. <sighs> really? Yeah. It means that much to you? Yeah. <laughs> I prayed and prayed to St. Anthony, St. Jude, St. Ronaldo. He's not a saint. Every <laughs> night, asking, oh, please, please, please let me win. It would make my whole year. <laughs> anyway, why are you asking? I just... Just wondering if you heard it from them. No, nothing as yet. <laughs> They're probably leaving it till the last minute, you know. Keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah, se secret, yeah, probably. <laughs> anyway, I just came over to see if you're coming to Foley's tonight. I don't know, we need you. Restrictions drive me mad. Ah, Agnes, come on, it'll be fun. They sell drink, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> I'll see you later. See you, Willie. Bye. See you, <laughs> And how are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think about it. Well, you better think fast. The longer you leave it, the worse it's going to be. I didn't even want to enter the fucking thing. <laughs> How the hello? <laughs> Ordinary people. <laughs> I'd be fucking good at this. Uh, back away, back away, Sharon. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, uh, Winnie. How are you, love? Back off. <laughs> Keep your distance. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, cheers, pet. It's lovely. Are they still doing that social distance thing? Leave them alone. It's great crack watching them. <laughs> Agnes, do you know what I was thinking about today? What? You see them guide dogs? What about them? Well, who picks up their shit? <laughs> Some things change, some things never change. <laughs> Lily Cunningham is 104 tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> Winnie. Yeah? See this competition? My one, the Queen's Speech. Yeah. I told you, Agnes, I haven't heard anything yet. But fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm going to wear. Mother of God, she's not going to make it easy for me, is she? <laughs> Crisps, pet. In a minute, Winnie. Winnie, I hear from them. They sent me a letter. I won it. <laughs> when? Today. But I was in your house twice today, and you never said that to me. I know. Winnie. Back off, Agnes Brown. <laughs> yeah. You speech stealer! What do you think, Maria? Super job. Dino couldn't have done better. <laughs> well done. Hey, 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 hey! Back off the door. If there's a willy coming through that letterbox, it'll be addressed to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Hello, Father. Oh, do come in. Post? Oh, you've become a regular postman, Pat Father. Hi, Father Damien. <sighs> Wait a minute. <clears throat> Barbara. Go 
aren't you? Oh, good shot. Two for one. <laughs> so you said you wanted to see me, Mrs. Brown? Yes, rather. You were saying that you're having a problem getting across your Christmas message. Yes. Do you have a solution? I think so. The Queen thing gave me an idea. Queen thing? Yes. Never mind, Father. Father, what you need to do is get a member of the community to give the sermon on Christmas Day. Great idea. But who? Well, it has to be somebody who's, you know, who'll be listened to, who's respected. Somebody who's, you know, pleasing to the eye. <laughs> somebody who the communicants really like. Somebody who's modest. Where's my light? Thank you. <laughs> and somebody who'll be a good speaker. True. But do you know anyone like that? <laughs> well, Father, I'm not available. And apparently, Boutrous Boutrous Gali has retired. <laughs> so there's your person. You're absolutely right. I think so. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. <laughs> Good luck, Father. You're not going to tell me the name you gave Father Damien, are you? No. <laughs> Get in here. Sit down. <laughs> Hello, Winnie. What's going on? Mammy has something she wants to say to your mammy, Cathy. Go on, mammy. I'm sorry, Agnes. I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. You deserve it. Oh, Winnie. How humiliating for you. You must feel so small. <laughs> but you're right. I do deserve it. Well, you're not getting it. Cathy, don't stop me now. I'm not. Yes. They are. It was always meant that whomever gives the Christmas Day address should be resident within the Commonwealth. You've been disqualified. That's great. <laughs> I mean, no way. <laughs> Phoenix is not in the Commonwealth. I'll see you later, Cathy. Come on, you. Thanks. Oh, Agnes, are you coming to Foley's tonight for the karaoke? I don't know, Winnie. People tend to get very emotional when I sing. <laughs> Come on, Agnes, it'll be fun. Of course I'll be there. Okay. Uh, Winnie. Yes, love. Aww. Agnes, I, I Just take it. I do without. <laughs> Thanks, love. See you at the karaoke. Yes. <laughs> you really wanted to give that speech, didn't you, Mummy? Honestly? Yes. I just thought it would cheer me up. Yeah, but I don't know what it would have done for the Queen. <laughs> Somebody who's never had sex. Something I, something she, something, something. Oh, yeah, of course. Ginger. <laughs> Hello, son. Hey, man. What's wrong with him? Don't mind him. He reminds me of your father after six. <laughs> so I've been told. I was usually asleep. <laughs> TMI. Oh, who's TMI? Tommy, is it? What's wrong with him? I don't know. He got a call in the car and he's been like that since. Buster! Buster! What's wrong? I have a gig for Christmas Day. Really? Doing what? Father Damien's after asking me to give the Christmas sermon. That's a great idea. Good luck with that. He'll be brilliant. I better get writing something then. Who's the baby's father again? Joseph. No, seriously, come on, who? Joseph. Joseph. Okay. It was Joseph, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Where's he after? Bible study, I hope. So, Dermot, did you tell her? No. Tell me what? I believe you entered a contest to address the nation in answer to the Queen's address. I was disqualified. Apparently, Fingers is not in the credit union, <laughs> so I'm not doing it. Oh, yes, you are. I don't think so, Dermot. Ma, I'm going to set up a camera here in the house. You're going to do your address, and we're going to put it on the internet. And we are going to give you a makeover. <laughs> me a makeover? Why? What's wrong with me? Where do I start? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mrs. Brown. We're going to do you up like the Queen. Freddie Mercury? 
No, the Queen. Oh, the Queen. <laughs> right, Eula, let's get down to the karaoke. You coming, Matt? Yeah, yeah, yes, I am, but you go on, I'll follow you down. See ya. She is the Queen. <laughs> uh, so, this is Christmas 2020. I think that we can all agree that this year has been, what's the word I'm looking for? Shit. <laughs> but you know, every cloud is a silver lining. I haven't been able to hug my grandchildren for ages, but they FaceTime me every day. So I actually saw more of them than I ever did. We discovered new heroes in our lives, doctors, nurses, porters, truck drivers, cleaners, delivery people and supermarket crews. People I used to take for granted. I hope I never do again. And television. Where would we have been without the TV? You know, we were all determined to make this show this year. Nothing would stop us because in the middle of all the chaos and hurly-burly that come at us, this year we need a, a laugh. I wish we could give this whole year a makeover. <laughs> Though we all learned a little bit about ourselves this year. Some rediscovered the importance of family. Me and Winnie realized we really are best friends. Kathy and Maria remembered why they went into the health service in the first place. And Sharon, <laughs> she was shocked how expensive batteries are for her personal electronics, you know. <laughs> her... <laughs> it's been tough. Some days, instead of going forward, it felt like we were swimming through porridge. Speaking of porridge, Ronnie Barker. Now, there's a man that could make me laugh. <laughs> Thank God for comedy. Whether it's Jimmy Carr or Catherine Tate or Michael McIntyre, Lee Mack's not going out. Two doors down are Dairy Girls. <laughs>